Hi everybody, um, it's Dee and I'm back for our second project of the of the day and hopefully I'm in the right area this time. I'm going to double check on that here real quickly. I am, hooray. <laughs> okay, well on my um, my streaming video service, I, am, I realized that it does not go to both it doesn't go to an event. At least I can't figure that out. So um, I'll just be showing you this project. Okay, everybody. Um, this is our second project of the day that's using um, some beautiful product from the Fancy Flora um, Suite. And this time we're going to be using this design if you want to play along exactly like I have. And this is a little um, treat bag or a, a little... Um, either a gift bag or a treat box that's made from one piece of the six by six paper. So it's a perfect little birthday favor. Um, I think, you know, you could make a really cute little Easter bag out of this, as well as, you know, Mother's Day is coming up too, and this could be a fun little thing to use for um, a little um, kiss goodnight or a little sitting at your table. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll get started on this project. Okay, so um, what we're going to need for this is, let me get in our measurements here. So um, you're going to need uh, the six by six um, designer paper um, here. And on this one, I'm choosing the mint macaron pool party, um, like the Calypso coral paper here for that. Um, we're going to need um, a little piece of um, shimmer paper. This is cut at two and a quarter by um, one and a quarter. And I just realized I didn't have that trimmed up, so I will need to run and do that. Um, for those of you that are getting, um, that got the kit to go, in this bag here, believe it or not, you've got three make and takes. Because you're gonna be using the paper that um, came with um, came with the materials, um, what we're going to need is this little um, die cut out here. So we'll go ahead and um, in your materials kit, out of here, all that we're going, well, we're gonna need two things out of it. You're gonna need the little um, scalloped um, little tag here and we're going to need the gold binder clip. Okay, so those are the two things to get out of your materials. Keep everything else in there. Those are for some future product projects. Okay, and let's go ahead and we'll get started on this. I'm going to go quickly cut my shimmer paper. Just a quick second. I did have it. I just didn't have it with the kit <laughs> here. All right. Um, so what we're going to do for this, um, our little bag, and I love it when you don't have to do any, um, you know, extra cutting from the paper here. All right. So we're going to take a piece of our um, fancy flora paper, and we are going to score it. And this isn't done for you for those that got the materials, because you can pick whatever fancy flora paper that you like. So you will have to do this on your own. Um, we're gonna score one side at one and a half and at four and a half. Turn it and score at two and a fourth and three and a fourth, okay? So let's go ahead and I've done that ahead of time. So there's no scraps left over on this. We're using up one whole piece of the six by six. So um, I think this little bag is a great um, thing to use with our designer paper. Whether you cut down the, um, you know, a 12 by 12 or you use the six by six packs because all of the bags would have the same color family, but yet each one would be a little unique. So I love this type of stuff for um, party goers or for parties on it. All right. So what we want to do is like, as you can see here, this is the one and a half and four and a half. What we want to do is we're going to cut along these two center squares here. And we're just going to cut up to the score line. I just have to point out, look at this fun paper fob 
that I got. Um, this was a key ring thing that I got from my, um, I bought from my friend Jane at a craft fair. And when I was making this, I'm like, well, is that not any more perfect of a color combo than that? Okay, I digress. Um, all right, so we're going to cut up to the score lines here. This will help make us our little bag. It also could be um, considered an open top box if you wanted to. And we're gonna cut, turn it, and we'll cut again. And cut. Now, if you wanted to, you could miter these corners. I'm not, let's just, let's just not, let's not even like go there. Okay, one thing that I do wanna show you what I did um, a little incorrectly here is that I have, I like to have like the, like no seams, like you can see the seams here on the front. And so no matter which way I did it, I had a seam showing. So um, if that bugs you, I'm gonna show you how to make sure that you're conscientious when you do it. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll fold these in. And what we wanna do is just make sure that the same um, the same side gets adhered um, there. So we don't want to do one this way and one this way. That's where you get your different seams that I was calling a seam. So we're first going to put, um, we'll go from right to left. We can turn these in and get our liquid glue. So I'm going to turn the tabs down. And then I'm going to bring in one side and bring in the other side. Now we've got the seams will be going in the same direction. And now on this one here, we'll put some adhesive on that side and adhesive on the other side. Bring that up and line it up. And bring this up and line it up. Now on yours, you'll have yours kind of going, the seams can go back to the back. All right, so that's the basis of, um, of the box slash bag slash gift holder <laughs> trash or slash gift bag. So any of that, like you, if you just want like an open gift, you know, you'd have your tissue papers up, you could have that. This would be super cute just to have that little of a box look. But what I like to do is um, make a little like covered bag out of, or treat box out of it. I'm going to kind of pinch in the sides here and we can put our binder clip on it. So you can keep pinching and you can use whatever clip that you want. This is a retired um, product that Stampin' Up! had at one time, but you can find binder clips and decorative clothes pins, whatever you'd like for closure. Cute. All right, let's do some stamping. And on this one, I'm gonna make a little happy birthday. Because again, I just think this would make a really super cute little um, birthday treat favor, um, just for that, for a birthday. And this um, paper can go for anybody. Um, and that's what I like about it as well. All right, so I'm gonna use Evening Evergreen as the ink for this. And I'm going to bring in um, the go-to gratings. I'll be using this twice because I like the little sentiments on it. So I'm using the happy birthday from that. And again, you can make whatever sentiments you want. You know, this could be a little get well gift. You could make, um, you know, an Easter thing, whatever you would like your sentiment to be. Oops. Happy birthday. And put that off to the side. And I'm using liquid glue again. Sometimes on those that have a, that they're very delicate, you don't need to um, ink very hard to get that on there. All right, now you've got two choices to um, put this on. You could put this on, um, if you kept it open, you could um, put it on with dimensionals. But what I like to do, because it's going to be squished together, is to glue it down. 
All right, so as you can tell, like the shimmer paper is so nice to work with. Okay, so I opened up the bag. Make sure I have it, the seams going in the back. And I'm gonna put it down a little bit towards the bottom because when we pinch it, it's gonna take up the room on the top. Okay, let that dry for just a second. So while that's drying, let's make our bow. Um, you can make a bow however you'd like. And if you guys have watched me for any length of time, you know that I love these bow makers. Um, my nephew is not making them anymore. Um, he's getting busy having a new home and getting ready to be married. And so he was happy to make them for me in the past, but not. So I'll have a link for something on here that if you'd like bow makers, you could find them online. And go ahead and do that. Or however you like to make a bow. I just um, can struggle sometimes with getting my bows the way I like them. So once I did found that bow maker, I was like on it, on it, on it. All right, my glue dots, which I just had at our previous project, have taken a little walk. Well, let's just go ahead and use something else. You'd want to use a glue dot for this. I'm going to use... You know how it's, oh, there it is, right where it should be. Oh, goodness. All right, we're going to get our glue dot, and we're going to put it on the back side of our bow. And then I like to put it right here on the clip. And now we're ready to fill it with some goodies. Let's see what would be fun. Oh, I know. Is there such a thing as old chocolate? I don't think so. Believe it or not, I still have something left over from um, the holidays. It probably won't last the day, though. <laughs> so, you know, fill it with whatever treat that you want. Pinch it. And you've got the most adorablest little gift bag ever. Can't you just see, like, a bunch of those sitting out, um, you know, either to welcome uh, welcome your party goers or as what they call a kiss goodnight, a little something that you can um, leave them or get hand them when they're going, have it as a place setting, you know, it's welcoming them at their table, um, take it to coworkers, just whatever. All from a really quick little six by six design that you don't have to do anything other than a few easy score marks. All right, everybody, that is um, our second make and take of our crafty winter carnival and um, leave a comment now you won't be getting a completed one of these if your comment wins again it has to be um i have to be able to mail it in the u.s um but you know it'll have everything scored and you'll have the pieces for you to do your own stamping since it's coming unassembled um you will have to do your own stamping Okay, so that's going to be our project number two. All right, um, I will reset for our next one, and it'll probably be, you know, in about 40 minutes. Okay, see you soon. Bye-bye.